and if we are looking for the side view it would be a double dash this is the observer side we are seeing it in the 2d on the later part we will see in the 3d as well this is the observer part when we trace the projection if we are seeing from the observer side then it will locate on the vertical plane like this only a dot like this what is it a dash on the top view side on the top view side it is denoted as a dash on the front view side it is denoted as a but i cannot see if i am looking from this point only if i am looking for from if i am looking from this point and some point is lying over here like this only but if we are seeing over here then we cannot see let me show you one example if you can see a point over here on the paper right now if the dot if i am seeing a dot from this side i cannot see it clearly so what i need to do i need to bend it down 90 degree after that only i can see the point clearly so this is the thing done in the animation as well the point is over here like this only it is rotated at 90 degree now what next it is denoted as point a which is front view next problem is for the second quadrant if what if point is in the second quadrant this is our vertical plane and horizontal plane point 2 is in the point a is in the second quadrant observer position will not change at all observer would be standing at his place only this is point a if we take projection of it on vp we will get point a dash what we need to do we just want to have a rotation the point lying on the horizontal plane at 90 degree if the point is lying over here what i will do i will rotate clockwise 90 degree clockwise clockwise 90 degree now if we locate it in the clockwise 90 degree we have got point over here what would be the position we have got a point over here if we want to rotate 90 degree then like this 90 degree we will get point number a very simple just rotate a point which is on the horizontal plane at clockwise 90 degree to see it clearly i am repeating again if i want to see this point if i want to see this point i am looking from this side i cannot see the point clearly but if i bend down this paper 90 degree if i am seeing from this point i cannot see but if i bend down this paper on 90 degree then i can see the point clearly right so this is the thing we are uh, doing over here just rotating at clockwise 90 degree you might be thinking that i am repeating this for twice and thrice but this is the basic fundamental for all the projections so any point on hp must be rotated clockwise 90 degree we talk about point in the third quadrant horizontal and vertical horizontal plane vertical plane observer again standing at the same position he is not changing his position at all 
point three point A in third quadrant. This is our point A. Now I hope you all understand what I am going to do. I will just going to do point A's projection on the vertical plane, like this. It would be called as a dash because it is a top view parameter. Now, what would be next thing you say? What would be next? Yes, point A would be projected on this horizontal plane like this. Remember, very simple rule. Locate, rotate the point. Clockwise ninety degree. Our clockwise would be over here like this. Clockwise ninety degree. Rotate the point. This point. This point at clockwise ninety degree. Like this. Very simple. We have got point number A. Like this. As you can see, the trick is only that we need. Vertical component will get very easily because we can see it from the top view. If we are seeing from the top view, we can see it clearly. If we are seeing from the top view, this is our top view component. If I am seeing from the top, I can see clearly. But if I want to see it from the front side, I am talking about this point. Seeing from this side, then I must rotate. In the clockwise 90 degree, clockwise 90 degree is a must rotation. Doing the same thing over here in the fourth quadrant as well. Horizontal and vertical plane. Same thing. Horizontal and vertical plane. Same thing. Observer would be standing at his position only. Observer is standing at his position only. He is stiff and steady. Observer would be not removing his spot at all. What we need to do? We just need to protect our point. We need to project our point on VP, and we need to rotate our HP point at clockwise 90 degree. Very simple. Point A is in the fourth quadrant now. This is our point A. Vertical component like this, it is called as a dash. Horizontal component like this. Now, again clockwise, like this. It is called as point number A. Very simple. All these four problems are the major theory for the projections of a point. I will tell you some sort of secret. What how how you can understand these parameters very easily. For some of you, it might not be very much catchy to understand. We'll see the brief, and we'll see the shortcut. How we can just remember what is the main thing for the problem. I have got some sort of shortcut. You just need to apply the shortcut on your problem, and you get full mark for this problem. Okay, so you don't need to worry. Now, if you see, what is that secret? If the point A is above HP and in front of VP, how we will put up this point? VP above HP means what? It is above horizontal plane. It is above horizontal plane. Also, it is in front of this plane, like this. This is horizontal plane. You can see it in the visuals. X Y line, like this. The point A is above H P and in front of V P, means that the point A would be above H P and in front of V P. Located over here in the first quadrant. For front view, and for the top view. 
for the top view vertical plane component will work and for the front view horizontal plane component will work the same thing what i am what i am showing you is the same thing which i have just shown you in this all this would be 2d thing two dimensional now we'll see in the three dimension as you can see our observer would be over here so we cannot see the proper line for this pictorial representation this would be the projections of this point point a is actually located over here only but if we are to looking for the top view then its component a dash would look like this on vertical plane on on horizontal plane it would look like this what if point a is above hp and in vp it is vertical plane it is horizontal plane above hp it is above this plane above this plane but in vp somewhere in vp this is xy line in vp which means that its projection for the front view for the top view for the top view its projection would be on the xy line only its projection would be on the xy line only but for the front view it would be over here a dash like this what if point a is in v in hp and in front of vp the point is in front of vp but lying on this horizontal plane very simple as you can see the point is lying on the horizontal plane over here like this but also it is in front of the vp it is not behind the vp this is point a this is for the front view this is for the top view it would be located on the top view would be located on the that side and front view would be located on the horizontal plane itself this is basic 2d parameter of if point a is above hp and in front of vp it looks like this the top view component would be above xy line and front view component would be below xy line front view above xy top view below xy for the same thing top view above xy line and front view on xy line because the point a is lying on the vertical plane if it is lying on the vertical plane itself then it would be lying on this point only if we talk about a point in hp which means that our object would be on the horizontal plane itself and the in front of vp which means that top view component would be on the xy line itself very clear and very simple this is a rep uh, pictorial representation of all this thing basic concept of any sort of projections of point front view and top view of point lie in the same vertical line what is next front view of point p is represented by p small p and it it shows the position of the point in respect to the horizontal plane now here is the secret you just need to remember this thing only if your point is above hp it stays above xy line if your point is in hp then it is lie on xy line itself if in the problem it is shown that 
if the point is below hp then it would be on the below xy line top view of a component is represented by p it shows the position of the point with the respect to the vp if the point lies in the in front of vp which means that it would be below xy line totally opposite if it is above xy line for hp it is above xy line but if it is in front if it is in front it would be below if it is in vp then on xy line very simple but if it is behind then it would be below xy line if it is behind it would be below xy line as well a point may be situated in a space in any type of four quadrant formed by the two principal plane of projection it may lie with one or two either it can be located on the horizontal plane or it can be located on the vertical plane as well its projections are obtained by extending projectors which are perpendicular to the plane as i so uh, told you earlier that this plane would be intersecting with each other perpendicularly so both this point would be matching and creating the xy line one of the plane is then rotated so that the first and third quadrant are open out now to see the horizontal plane component what we need to do but we just need to rotate the component at 90 degree to show either the above xy line process or below xy line process now there are basically nine type of projections of point one would be either above hp and in front of vp one would be either above hp behind vp one would be below hp behind vp another can be below hp but in front of the vp next can be on vp but it is above hp sixth one can